Today, I'm going to guide you through some tips and steps to picking your motherboard. So stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. One of the things that tends to get overlooked when picking components for a PC build is your motherboard. I've seen it even recently with helping someone with parts. And unfortunately, PC Parts Picker only shows compatibility. It can't tell you what you need for your particular scenario. For example, I was asked to look at a build not too long ago, and I pretty quickly noticed they had a normal sized case with a micro ATX board. Let's just say he would have been pretty surprised when he got it. And that's just one of the many tiny details people can easily overlook. So let's go over some tips on what to look at when deciding on your motherboard. The first and most important thing to look at when buying your motherboard is to ensure your CPU will actually fit. Look first to make sure the board states it's for AMD or Intel. If it says AMD, but you've got an Intel CPU, you're gonna have a bad time. Luckily, each CPU states pretty clearly what socket it uses. Next up, figure out whether you want a more traditional ATX board or a smaller sibling. The smaller boards are typically cheaper, but with the decrease in space, they don't typically have as many features. Manufacturers divide up each motherboard socket into different chipsets. Think of these as tiers that effectively split up the main features like SLI or a big increase in rear I.O., etc. For example, AMD's Ryzen CPUs work on the AM4 socket, but it includes six chipsets. The A, B, and X300, A320, B350, and X370. I know the naming schemes can be really confusing, but just look up your particular socket to get its list of chipsets and then go through what separates them to decide which one best fits the features and budget you're looking for. After you've decided on your chipset, it's time to start looking into individual motherboards. Every motherboard manufacturer has what are essentially sales pages. All they do is name a bunch of features that most boards have, but are just on ever so slightly different or really something that's not a huge deal. Then they name it something proprietary just to sound cool. At least most of the time. Regardless of where you purchase your CPU, I suggest heading to Newegg. And while going through the motherboard in your chipset, open up the specifications tab. The reason I suggest Newegg isn't because I'm sponsored or anything like that, it's actually because they keep pretty consistent on where features are located in their specs, so you can easily look at a couple motherboards side by side for a really simple comparison. At this point, you're looking at a relatively personal level of needs. There's quite a few things that come into play here, but most are relatively minor after you decided on your chipset. Still, differences are there, and they can be more important depending on your needs. In my opinion, the first thing to look at here is the I.O. I'd suggest going through the rear I.O. Does it have the USB ports you want or need? If not, keep moving along or decide if you need the next tier chipset, as a ton more I.O. usually requires that next level. The next thing to look at is ensure that you have enough M.2 and or SATA ports for all your hard drives. Another good idea is to check out the PCI Express setup. Dual graphics card support is typically determined by your chipset, but you might find a board with an extra times 4 slot that you might really need, etc. While there can be more to look into, like the board's VRMs, onboard audio, Ethernet options, etc., this should definitely narrow down your search to just a couple boards and hopefully help make things much easier. So while that does it for today's video, definitely make sure to subscribe for more hardware guides, news, and reviews. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.